Hello and welcome to our new YouTube blog, Cooper's Creations. This is our very first YouTube video. We hope you enjoy it and we hope that you come back and see many more because we're going to be cooking some bomb diggity food dishes. So please join us and oh by the way, these were given to us as a birthday present by our good friend Terry Brady. So thank you Terry, these are awesome aren't they? Cooking with the Coopers, <laughs> right? Yep. Okay, ready to get started? So we're gonna get started. And this dish is gonna be the Fiesta Chicken Taco Mix that we're gonna make for our uh, party mm -hmm. that we're having tomorrow. We have all the ingredients out here. We're gonna have four chicken breasts, cream cheese, a Fiesta dip mix, a can of black beans, a can of whole kernel corn, and uh, green chilies and tomatoes. We're putting in four chicken breasts in the bottom of the pan in your crock pot. And you just open cans and dump them in. It's really easy. And that perfect every time. You don't want to lose any of the juices or anything. Just dump everything in there. I have a no burner. I'm looking for a can opener. You don't need one. No matter where you open that one. Yeah. Accidentally. Yes. Super easy dish. The crock pot does all the cooking, obviously. Sprinkle this in. Sprinkle this in. About four hours, four or five hours on high. And when it's done, you take it out, stir it up, and breaks up all the chicken. And it's ready to serve on tortillas or over rice. Probably about every hour or so too, you have to like open it and kind of mix it together. Mm -hmm. Wait about two hours before you do that the first time. Then cover it and cook it on high. Well, hello, welcome back to our blog, Cooper's Creations. And uh, this next dish that we are about to prepare is our Spanish rice. And it has some great ingredients, very easy to prepare. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this Spanish rice dish. Okay, first of all, we're gonna start with half of an onion, chopped fine. You can do it with a knife or you can do a handy little chopper like I did to cheat makes it much easier. In the pan, we have a couple of tablespoons, about three or four tablespoons of uh, corn oil. You can use canola oil, any vegetable oil. A non-flavored oil works. We're gonna start with the onion. How much onion is that? Half an We're just gonna saute this in the onion, the onion in the oil until it gets, you know, kind of soft and cooked down a little bit. Takes a couple of minutes. Okay, we've been cooking these onions in the oil for oh, about two or three minutes. So now they're really soft and getting translucent. So we're gonna turn the heat down. Add a couple of cloves of garlic. You can add more if you like more. And the rice, two cups of long grain white rice. And we're gonna stir this. You don't wanna leave it, you wanna keep stirring it so that the rice doesn't burn. You're just gonna stir it for a few minutes until it kind of toasts in the pan. Okay, we've been stirring this rice for about four minutes. Now we're ready to add the can with the tomatoes and green chilies in it. Everybody knows what that is. And then you want a can, you can use whole tomatoes, or you, I like the petite diced tomatoes. I just think it makes a better rice. And we're gonna stir that up and get that all incorporated. And that's all good to stir it up. Put two cups, you can, you don't have to have some more just in case you need it. Add a uh, low sodium chicken broth. No 
then we're going to stir it until it's very good and combined. Now, I turned it up on high. We want to bring it to a boil. And while that's doing that, we're going to add some cumin. I'll do a big heaping teaspoon. Some seasoned salt. Probably about a teaspoon and a half. Keep stirring until it's all combined. While it's getting hot, bring it to a boil. comes to a boil, we're going to cover it and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes or until the rice is cooked. Put it on low and let it simmer. So we cooked the rice for 15 minutes and we tasted it because you don't want to like have crunchy rice. So taste it, make sure that it's not crunchy, that it's cooked all the way through and it's soft and tasty. So make sure that you taste it because um, you want it to be soft and delicious. And we added another... Uh, cup of broth and we cooked it for another five to seven minutes and now it's perfect so there you have it our spanish rice dish so welcome back to cooper's creations and what we're doing now is we are cooking picadillo picadillo is a dish that is made with ground beef potatoes red onions garlic olive oil some crushed tomatoes and some cumin and as you see all the ingredients are here it's three pounds of ground beef it's about two whole potatoes the percentage of laying the fat on the ground beef is about 90 10 to make sure that we have some good good lean ground beef 80 20 is probably a good a good uh, percentage as well so we're putting about a half of a uh, red onion in the skillet with some olive oil. And uh, we're gonna get that sauteed, get it good and uh, tender before we add the rest of the ingredients. Now we have added about two cloves of garlic to our mixture and we're going to continue to saute this until it gets all incorporated and tender and then what we're going to do is we're going to add our ground beef three pounds of it to our mixture of garlic and onions wooden spot spatula here to get it going. Let's talk about the potatoes. The potatoes that we're going to add in a little while are going to be parboiled so that they are not completely cooked because if not they would turn to smush once we added them. So they have a thicker, harder consistency and being parboiled so that whenever we finish the cooking process they are still you know firm and not still hold their shape and still hold their shape correct yes we're, on the we're of adding diced a tomatoes. can of diced tomatoes and some cumin season salt Teaspoon. We're gonna put some parboiled potatoes in there. This is where we put the parboiled potatoes. Cut up very small. Just 
cook it, and then season to taste. So this is our picadillo. This is what it's supposed to look like. And it tastes fantastic. Always taste your food and adjust your seasoning mix to match your preference. There's going to be some awesome tacos. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that's it. That's three meals we've made for our party. Three meals. So we'll see you next time. There we go. There it is. <laughs> So thank you for watching our first three recipes that we posted on our blog. Make sure you guys subscribe down below, hit the bell to be notified, and leave a like. Comment below what else we should do. We're going to be cooking our butts off for the next several months and years. And we will enjoy if you came to our page on YouTube.com slash Cooper's Creations. You can do this. Come on now. <laughs> That's right. We don't necessarily have a specific posting schedule right now, but believe us when we do, you guys will be the first to know. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You made a well made uh, flitch. Where are you going?